first question to you is, uh, what have you accomplished in life that shows perseverance and dedication and nothing to do with any you know, weight training or bodybuilding? Being a pastor of a church. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I accepted the Lord when I saved my life in 2001. And being at a big church, and then my pastor sent me to a small church, three members. And having three members, you know, is a challenge when you really have to depend on the Lord. And then when it rolls to five, and then one of your members die and do your first funeral for one of your members. That's a challenge. But through all that, you know, it's, it's, I've grown. So, you know, that, 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 that has helped me out, understanding what perseverance is, and also to helping others. You know, that, that's more important to me. You know, more important to me is not me, but what I can do, what God has given me. That's more important to me. All right, Conrad. Can you adapt under extreme conditions? And if so, why? Because I can adapt under extreme conditions because if it's something that I love to do, I love bodybuilding. I love working out. You know, I, I, things that I love, I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Thank you. Conrad, how long have you been training? How long have you been body? Uh, I've been training. I've been training for 23 years. You know, I've competed. You know, I've done, you know, working out football, track. Then when I went to the Navy, I was in the Navy. And that's when, you know, training, you know, really, you know, really just started kicking in on me. You know, being out and, you know, I served in, uh, during when the Marines got bombed in Lebanon, I was out there, you know, so being on the ship, you know, that's when I really started, you know, bodybuilding really started. Because really, honestly, I was doing boxing, you know, in the Navy, they did the smokers, so I was in the, you know, doing that, doing boxing, and I think it was one fight that I got into, and I went to the bathroom, and nose started, the blood started coming out of my nose, I said, well, you know, this might not be what I want to do, but I love the training of it. So it really started from when I used to box and went into bodybuilding. What makes you unique, Conrad? What makes me unique is that that I really, it, it's amazing. It's just that when, you know, it's, it makes me unique because I care about people, you know, because it's, and, then, and that's a process. It's a journey, you know, and I think that what makes me different is that, you know, I care about people. You know, I care about people and more than I thought I could. And I think that should become a being a pastor of a church. I didn't realize how much I cared. I always thought I was a lone wolf. But I think, you know, learning to care about people more and more each day. Hey, Conrad, would you be able to put your life on hold for 10 to 12 weeks? Yes. And live with the other contestants in a house? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Conrad is the creator and executive producer of the show. Why would I want you to be the ultimate body and represent all of us? Because I love this sport. I love I love what you're doing. I love being a part of it. Just you know, it's just the knowledge that I can get from this from from training under in this circumstance that I can use that to promote, especially natural bodybuilding. I know we have Mr. Olympia, you know, Mr. Natural Olympia here, Mr. Natural Universe, and Richard Sperry. You know, I really commend you for doing the Cape Cod. You know, you know, you support natural bodybuilding. So, you know, I love natural bodybuilding. That is my love, that's my passion. You know, and I love to help make this program work and promote natural bodybuilding. Thanks, Conrad.